Welcome back YouTube for another video with myself Obsidian Gaming and today we are doing the game review for Project Zomboid. The Project Zomboid, believe it or not, was originally released in 2019 and to be honest, it has slipped completely right underneath most people's radars until recently. It's probably in the last six months that this game has become huge after a lot of attention from YouTube and Twitch streamers and deservedly so. This has to be one of the best survival games I've played out there when it's zombie related. And it is just such a good, fun game, especially since recently they've introduced multiplayer, which just gives you so much more you can do with the game. When you're starting off the game, you will be able to create a character and you'll be able to select their previous job experience. For an example, a security guard, cook, chef, doctor, there's loads you can select from. And same for perks as well. Some of the perks are really, really good and must be worth looking into if you do get the game. For each positive perk, you must have a negative perk to balance it out so your survivor doesn't become a little bit OP. For example, you might be able to have high endurance and high strength, but however, your guy might be overweight and smoking, so you go run out of breath really easy and start panicking if you don't have your cigarettes to hand. When you start off the game, you will pretty much have nothing other than the clothes that are on your back, so grabbing everything you can from the cupboards may aid your survival. I don't think I've played so much in-depth game with so much freedom for you to do. You can do anything you want, just be careful. Again, there's zombies everywhere. I know it's about the game and you're going to die sooner or later on the game, but they are everywhere, so just be careful you don't get bitten because it only takes one little bite and that is it, your character is over. You can do base building, you can level up your skills from reading books, watching TV or simply dismantling everything in sight. And even if you wanted to, you can go out into the wilderness and set up a camp and spend your time fishing, farming, and do whatever you want really for your survival. After a while though, both water and electric will be cut off. So that will make it a little bit more trickier for you to survive. So just a little bit of a heads up, prepare for the long term prep. There is literally 101 ways you can die on this game. For an example, me and my friend, we was playing it. We've killed hundreds of zombies and then we died because eating a mushroom out in the wild. We got a little bit hungry. We thought we'd risk it with this mushroom and guess what? It killed us. So little heads up, mushroom and berries, be careful. Don't eat them once. They can kill you really, really easy. That said, upon loading the game, it will eventually tell you this is how you die. So don't beat yourself up so much when you eventually do die. Upon your death, you will lose the character or the XP, but however, all the loot and items that you have at your little base will not be gone. Everything you discover on a map will still be there for you. So you don't feel like you've lost as much hard work when you're finding new things. You will get them back eventually. I rate this game a massive 9. It has provided hours of fun gameplay and it's only £15 on Steam. So it's a great little bargain and this is a must for all you zombie lovers out there. So enjoy the game guys. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you did like it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new. And also hit that like button. Take care of yourself and I'll see you again next time. Good luck surviving the zombie apocalypse.